one time no see. So this is the look that I am doing today. It's just sort of another bronze, easy, natural look, but this is what I've been doing almost always lately when I wear makeup and a lot of you guys have been requesting this look on my snapchat and my instagram and all my social medias are linked down below if you're not already following me and you'd like to check it out go work on that stocking because I freaking I stalk everyone so I have no shame but um yeah no I don't think I have anything else to talk about so I'm just gonna get onto the video so I'm going to start by prepping my skin. I've been using this sunscreen by Tony Moly and it is the My Sunny Powdery Finish Sun Milk. I'm gonna just go ahead and stick some of this in my face. And the whole point with this powdery finish is it's supposed to give sort of like a like a soft powdery finish to your face rather than being shiny and sticky. It does have a little bit of a powdery smell but to be honest I kind of like that so I'm not mad at it. I'm using my Milk Makeup Blur Stick to prime my face. This little dude I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with. It smells a little bit funky to me. It kind of smells like um, artificial hair, in my opinion. My friend says it smells like sunscreen. I think it just it has like an odd smell to it, but I like that it doesn't have fragrance to try to cover up the ingredients. And I'm just going to smooth this over my face use my fingers to sort of make sure that it is all smoothed out. For Tinted Moisturizer, I have not used this in forever and I used to talk about this all the time and I'm using the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the color Finland. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my fingers and just put it on like I would any other moisturizer. I always like go back so that I can rub it in without getting my hair on myself. I'm using my Becca Beach tint in the color Guava. I'm just going to take a little dot of this on my finger, dot it on my cheeks, and blend it in. I haven't been using concealer a lot lately, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the tinted moisturizer and just sort of dot it over any redder spots or anywhere that I feel like I would need concealer. I've been having issues around this area lately and I feel like it means something. You know when people do the face mapping charts of where the acne is and like where in your body is affecting that part in your face? Because I got super sick over Christmas to the point where I almost couldn't breathe and I don't know I probably should have actually gone to the doctor the doctor I just went there and they're like oh yeah take some like Tylenol and stuff and you'll be fine I was like okay great I'm dying but I'll take some Tylenol I don't know if you guys know what that means let me know in the comments below now that I am done with that I'm going to zoom you in and do a little bit on my eyes I'm going to use my Anastasia dip brow in taupe and my Anastasia brush. I lost my, my Sigma one and I actually loved that one for doing brows so I ended up just getting this one and I'm not a huge huge fan of it to be honest with you. I think the brush part is a little bit too stiff and I almost find that like I really have to keep dipping in the pot in order to use this brush but I do like having a spoolie on the end so I'm gonna see if I can find like a better spoolie tipped brush but I do not recommend this brush. But I'm just going to brush my brows out here and fill them in super quickly. Then using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, I'm just going to set my brows super quick. I like to keep the little thing tilted because I feel like it picks up a little bit more gel on one of the sides when you take it out. This dude right here Revlon I have been really really liking this palette this is just their cream shadow palette not just nudes I'm going to start out with this color here I'm gonna put that on my lid just like a thin layer of it so it's not too crazy and blend it up a little bit using my pinky finger I'm just going to add some of this under my or on my lower lashes. And then going straight for the darkest color here, I'm going to add a little bit of that just close to my lash line and sort of blend it up a little bit just to sort of create a little bit of like a 
smokiness along the lash line. I am going to actually use the Sigma E30 pencil brush and dip into that darkest color here just to sort of add a little bit more closer to my lashes. That's literally all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. Next, I'm using my Kevin Kwan Lash Curler. This thing is seriously the best, like, oh my god. Sometimes I really annoy myself. Like, I do things and I just annoy myself and I'm like, God, if I was my friend, I would not be my friend. For mascara, I'm going to combine two mascaras. I'm going to start with this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is like a little process here. Also, my lip is split today. I'm like, just noticing it right now. It's so dry. I feel like I never drink enough water. For my top lashes, I'm going to be using my Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For Mascara. I like the formulation of this. I do not like the brush, which is why I'm using two mascaras. And then take some of my roller lash and get some of that action going on. And I'm going to do some bronzing. So I'm using my Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder in 40 Mirage Filter. I just rediscovered this and I think I like it better than the Dior one I've been using. I think the coloring is just a little bit better for my skin tone. And I'm also using my Sigma Soft Angled Contour F23 brush. This is super pigmented as well, so. I just have to be a little bit careful and I'm just going to sort of like bronze up the contours of my face. See what I mean about how pigmented it is? Moving on to my cheeks again, I'm using this Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Blush. I thought I was going to mess that up but that was actually pretty sweet. And I got this in the color Rose Without Thorns, which is actually a much lighter color than I realized I was getting. I sort of just like grabbed it and was in the wrong spot, but I've still been using it and it's not bad. I just sort of use it as a finishing touch sort of thing to add a little bit of rosiness to my face and squirt a little bit of that on my face. I crack myself up. I try to aim for like a lower cheek line sort of thing rather than right on the like apples of my cheeks. For highlighter I am of course going to use my trusty Glossier Halo Scope. This is the one that has the crystals in it, that's pretty sweet. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that on to my cheekbones here, blend it out with my finger. My lips are so dry. <laughs> So this is literally the first lip liner I've ever bought. Not this one, this is like a new one. And it is the Too Faced Perfect Lips in Perfect Spice. I'm just going to very lightly line my lips with this just to add like a little bit. Oh, that was not very light. Okay. I guess that's where we're going right now. Oh my god, look at how dry. On Instagram, I've been seeing like glittery lip glosses everywhere and I found this one by Buxom at Sephora and I'm absolutely in love with it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it's just like a sheer glitter lip gloss. I got this lip gloss from Victoria's Secret and I actually was really surprised with how much I like it. It's just like a clearish gloss with pinkish shimmers in it and it adds just like a little bit of pinkness to your lips. It's super super glossy so it's really good for that sort of like shimmery glassy thing that's been going around on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, this is it. This is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a...
throwing everything all over the place. Leave me a comment down below how your day has been and don't forget to tag me on Instagram or send me a Snapchat if you guys try out this look or any of my other looks. I always love to see your recreations and hear your feedback and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, my shirt is linked in the description below. I love this. I think it's just like the cutest thing. It's got like this little mesh right here. I feel like mesh is so popular right now. Alright.